Also new tonight, the concept of farm to table has been growing in popularity over the last few years, but when there were food shortages at the height of the pandemic, consumers started looking for closer sources of locally raised food. But now the influx of farmers looking to process their beef, pork and poultry is causing a backlog of months. Mm. Two on your side's Nate Benson has this report. When the pandemic hit, it forced people to look at alternative sources for things like meat. So people started checking out local butcher shops, even directly at farms. But now there's a problem. A backlog at processing facilities is causing headaches for farmers, butchers, and restaurateurs, especially for those who promote themselves as farm to table. The majority uh, of our meat comes from local farms. And so in order to get that local uh, meat processed, that's go through local slaughterhouses, and there's only a few left. Tom Moriarty and his wife Caitlin own a butcher shop on Elmwood Ave. Since the pandemic began, they've seen their business expand, but they're running into trouble because of a backlog at the USDA processing facility in the area. They can only sell USDA processed meat in a retail location. We did have an instance where um, a farmer was notified at the last minute that they weren't able to bring in their animals, so obviously that was a challenge for us that week. So why is there a backlog? As it turns out, USDA facilities are few and far between, and even before COVID, they would book months in advance. Christine Britt owns Heartland Abattoir with her husband. They're a USDA processing facility in Gasport. Farm to table is huge as well. Yeah. People now are wanting to get their, you know, get their meat from a locally sourced farmer. Yeah. However, getting it into a facility is difficult. It's a volume game. There simply aren't enough facilities to process the amount of meat that's in demand right now. I do think it's a dying industry. Um, but we do need to get some some help here to make it right. And then COVID hit and consumers wanted to stockpile and have food on hand in case they ran out. You're looking at a six month backlog on people being able to find a freezer just to be able to stock up. Mm -hmm. And part of that's people feeling that food insecurity that they never have before. Michael Parcott operates Always Something Farm in Darien. The pork lord says he's had multiple processing appointments canceled because there isn't enough room and even had to drive far distances to get his pork processed. We drove to Meadville, Pennsylvania, so three and a half hours each direction, a trip down to drop off, a trip down to pick up. So really, when you look at it, we've got 14 hours of driving in order to get three pigs cut for retail so that we can try to make it through the winter out here. He says one solution that would help farmers would be support for the Prime Act. Which would allow custom exempt facilities to have their items that they process available for retail sale, but on a small scale. Like it wouldn't be going to restaurants, but that would allow farmers to have their product into the farmer's market on a federal level. We asked Congressman Jacobs, who sits on the Agriculture Committee in the House, if he would support this bill, but we have not heard back. Reporting in Darien, Nate Benson, Channel 2 News.